So your YouTuber hobo ass has a budget and it's less than you spend on McDonald's in a week and you want a camera for that. So let's talk about the budget hobo YouTuber camera of your dreams. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. For those curious, we're on the Sony A7S 3 with the 20mm 1.8 at Tony 4. Just to let in a little background into our lives. People will walk. There's a boardwalk. Oh, what's he gonna do? Will he look at the camera? Where's he going? Will Sony latch on to somebody? No one cares. Move along with your show. Your show sucks. So obviously this is the pinnacle of YouTube existence. The Sony A7S III, but that's like $6,700, if not thousand. It's a lot of money, but once you reach the pinnacle of YouTube with 75 million subscribers like I have, you can afford it as long as someone else chips in and you get a discount. Thank you so much. If I was just starting out and I had nothing, like we're talking Bigfoot just robbed me, took every camera I had and I come home like, ah, oh, I'm not even a footprint to sell. What would I go with? I gotta tell you, it's not so much about the camera you buy now, it's what system is future-proofed in its abilities. I might stick with that Sony system, but let me give you some other hobo options. Now that the GoPro 9 has a front-facing screen, you would think, there's your camera, but I cannot recommend it to you. It was a gift, and I appreciate it, but I hate it more than any camera I've ever had. It's good for hyperlapses. I've never glitched on a hyperlapse. I have lost one file in the A7S III versus this review, the first file. It just started recording, it froze, it never recorded. So it's a pain in the ass, I have a lemon. I get a bunch of comments saying people have no problem with it, but I do believe they changed the closest focusing distance. I think the eight was sharper, the nine is bullshit. So you're now back into DJI Osmo action territory. So I would go with that, because at least that's more reliable, it has better colors. Hopefully they upgrade it soon. But you have to ask yourself, if you're going out in the street and you're walking, action cam all the way, I've always said that. Sometimes I bring things like this because it's fun. But that's the way to go. Sony X3000, GoPro 8, maybe even the 7 actually. The 7 has better colors. You could probably get that pretty cheap. Or the DJI Osmo Action. Because you can put it on a scooter. The Osmo, no, the DJI Pocket 2, that'll snap off. So that's only vlogs, no fun. Gotta have fun. If you wanna step up your hobo game and you don't mind having a really long tripod, the Sony ZV-1 would be very fun. Very easy, it's just, you can't do it handheld, forget that. It's impossible, but you get 480 frames per second and 960 frames. That's so fun. It would be a good vlogging camera. Hopefully the Mark II has a wider lens, but I could do it. I could do my whole show on that camera, but I would 100% of the time take the GoPro instead of that, just because it's wider. I like wide, it's fun. When it comes to Canon, you have to know that the EOS M series is dead and they're never gonna make another lens ever. That whole system just sucks. So the M50, I would get the Mark I with the Sigma 16 mil, but you can't take it out here. You can't, the 11 to 22 is too shaky, so it's not a vlog camera. That could be done in the studio with the Sigma. You're still a hobo. Don't reward Canon for sucking at life. Don't even look in their direction. Honestly, I would not reward Canon. They cripple their cameras, and I'm not a fan of it. I'm at the beach. There's people everywhere. You'll be arrested. You can't do this. You make good cameras. Color science, I like it. Autofocus gets you sometimes. I don't mind it. I'll buy one one day. How come you never release any lenses for your awesome sets? Ow. Ow. So if you already have an action cam or the Sony ZV-1 and you want to step up a little notch or two, I would go with either. And I haven't tested the Sony APS-C to know if it's good enough 
with that 10 to 18, it could be, I doubt it. I would lean towards the Fuji way of life with that new XS10. You get that with the 16 mil, 1.4, it's your only lens. Honestly, there's nothing wider unless you get the Samyang and don't mind manually focusing and missing yourself often. Those Fuji colors. The Stabe actually sucked. Get an X-T4. Don't you dare get that XS10. I forgot this was for budget hobo YouTubers. X-T4 is out of your limits. So you get that XS10 with like their cheapest piece of shit kit lens, 15 to 45. You call it a day asshole. Or you get the Sony a6400 and the only reason I say don't get the 6100 is because it doesn't have log and you need it. You need it hard. I'd say the 10 to 18 lens, but I've never tested it to know for sure if it's viable. That's the word. And it is kind of expensive. Oh boy, you're stuck with the kit lens and your videos will suck. I'm so sorry. But if you get the Sigma 16mm 1.4, at least you have a nice YouTuber lens. So that would be totally fine for the in the studio shots in your mother's living room. But if you want to walk, that's where it's hard. That's why I lean action cam because they have the best stabe. And then you have phones, but just the ergonomics. You got no flippy screen. It's awkward. No mic jack usually. The Sony Xperia 5 Mark II potential slightly, but usually their wide angle lenses, they suck. GoPro destroys most phones. Like, it's, it's not even comparable. Better stay, better colors, better everything. Better image quality, except they, you never get the files because they corrupt themselves. So if it's me, since I can't recommend a GoPro, I would either buy the Sony X3000 in 2020 or the DJI Osmo Action. I would lean towards those two as my tiny cam. And then as a studio, oh God. I would try to afford that Sony a7C as a minimalist full-frame desire camera. What well, keeps reflecting? I see flares. Is it the Q-Link pendant? Is there a sale down below? Buy one, get one free? How? How do we make that happen? They're so powerful. I'll leave. I hate these budget options. I'm not inspired to tell anybody to get any of them because they have terrible battery life and no features. I'd probably try to save up for the Sony a6600 just so you get at least a decent battery in there and some stabilization. If they had active stabe, we're done. Sony all the way, because this has it. Oh, and is it glorious sometimes. I forgot the Nikon Z50. That's probably your answer right there. That impressed me more than most. It's a little awkward. It has some quirks, but you could get some footage. Oh, you could. The real message is, as we stop down our hearts, it doesn't matter what camera you have, unless of course you have the Sony a7S III, then nothing else matters. It's the content that's in your heart, waiting to pour out, telling people what you did today, that you went to Starbucks, and you, there was a sale on a muffin, and you got it for your mom, because you're generous. Your whole vlog is about generosity and changing the world. Oh, you inspire me. So, I'm gonna leave. Thanks for buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt and watching a beach episode. As the sun, Tony. No, don't come in my shot. I tonied him. I tonied him hard. Anyone else want to be tonied? I swear to God, I'll do it. I'm gonna go. Subscribe for me to that sandbag.